Hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season 2, episode 2 of Twin Peaks and this one's called Coma. I have treated myself to a Twin Peaks Sheriff Department shirt because <laughs> I, I love this show. I love this show so couldn't resist. <laughs> Last episode I was at the start of it was so funny with that hotel employee coming in and Cooper was just on the floor bleeding to death and he was just like milk please sign this bye <laughs> I was like what the fuck <laughs> luckily the sheriff's department came in time and saved Cooper it seems like Audrey's been locked up in the one-eyed jacks I don't know why they're not letting her go. She's a high school student. Eventually people are gonna to start to know where she's missing. You know what I mean? It's weird. I mean, I know they don't know it's her dad that owns the place, but still, like, let her out. <laughs> Donna was being really weird last episode. I don't know whether she's trying to be like Laura because she's jealous of James doing something. I don't know. I didn't like it. I like other Donna, not weird Donna who wears sunglasses indoors. <laughs> I think that Ronna either woke up or someone's attacking her because we did see a flash of Bob or Mike. I can never remember which one is which, but I really hope she's awake and she's able to tell the law enforcement a lot more because I really want to know who killed Laura. <laughs> but anyway, enough chattering. Let's get into it. By the way, the fat boy wasn't strangled. Killer snuffed him with a pillow. He was wearing gloves. That's what I was saying the whole last the episode. The supply closet and that is it. Jock has any secrets? He'll be taking them underground. Yeah, so that was season two, episode two of Twin Peaks. I have to say, I do like the fact that we're seeing more of this Bob character. I'm gonna remember it's Bob, not Mike. <laughs> Although I say that next week, I'll be like, oh, I can't remember which one it is again. But it seems to be a focus now on on the cousin, who's I don't know, is it Maddie? I think I'm just gonna say Maddie because I don't know why I can't seem to remember her name. I think it's because every time I see her, I think Laura. Speaking of Maddie. James is so weird and fickle when it comes to women. I mean, pilot episode, Laura was apparently the one. Then right at the very end, he got with Donna. They're sort of like grief bonded. But the cousin looks the spitting image of Laura. So he's giving her the googly eyes as they sing to each other. And like, Donna obviously saw it, but I know they're teenagers, but at the same time, I'm thinking, come on, Donna. Like, Really? You didn't see this coming? <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen to Audrey now that the uh, woman's there. can't remember her name. God, I'm so bad with names. I mean, she did mention the tuxedo to Cooper, so hopefully he'll make that connection. I'm wondering if that'll be in the next episode, but I don't know. Audrey's a mean character, but I don't want her to die. <laughs> I am worried, though, that Maddie's going to be the next to die with this Bob, or he's going to come and kill Ronette run it before she's got a chance to get better again yeah so full and early access is available on patreon.com forward slash seriax and i'll see you next time